Okay, question three on the 2015 C4 paper. Um, so this one here, we've got a curve which goes through the x-axis at two points here. So what we've got to do, we, in order to find out where it goes through the x-axis, you've got to set y equal to zero. So we're going to set y equal to zero, so that's got to equal 4x minus x e to the half x. So if we factorise out the x, we've got x in the bracket, 4 minus e to the half x. So now, um, we set this one equal to zero, and obviously that's going to be that point there. And then to find this one, we set this thing equal to zero. So that's going to be 4 minus e to the half x equals zero. So if we move this to the other side, we've got e to the half x equals 4. So if we take logs of both sides, that's going to be half x, so the log will cancel out with the e, and that's going to be log 4. And if we times both sides by 2, we've got x equals 2 log 4. Now that's not in the thing that they wanted. They want it in terms of log 2. So log 4, or 4 itself, is 2 squared. So we say that's going to be 2 lots of log 2 to the power of 2. And then as with log laws, we can bring that 2 down to stick on the front. So it's going to be 2 lots of that, so it's going to be 4 log 2. So the x-coordinate of point A is going to be 4 log 2. Next thing we've got to do is we've got to figure out what this is when we integrate it. So, in fact, what we could do is we could open up a word so that we've got a little bit more room. Okay, this by magic, and now I've got a word document ready. So, we're going to integrate that. <laughs> so, we're integrating x e to the half x. With respect to x. Now, what we've got here is we've got two things multiplying. So if you're going to do integration and the two things here are multiplying together, we need to do integration by parts. So we have to have u equal something, and the other thing is going to be dv equal something. So now what we do is we find out what du equals. So in fact, just before we get onto that, we we always let the u equal the x, unless there is a log function there. If there's a log function at all, we let u equal the log. But here, in the absence of any logs, we let u equal x, and then du will equal 1. Now dv, which is the other thing, is going to be e to the half x. Now just be careful with this, because um, a lot of people get caught up with the difference between C3 and C4. So if you're going to do differentiation, um, where you've got two things multiplying together by using the product rule, it's going to be u times v. But if it's integration where you've got two things multiplying together, i.e. integration by parts, it's going to be u times by dv. And that's you wouldn't believe how many people lose marks on that. So what we do is we have u equals x. So differentiate that, you've got 1. dv equals half, sorry, e to the half x. So v, we integrate that e to the half x is going to remain the same, but then we divide by the power differentiated, so that's going to be divided by a half, which then v goes to 2e to the half x. And the integration by parts rule, we have uv minus the integral of v du, with respect to x. Um, so, we're going to do u times v, so that's going to be 2x e to the half x minus the integral of v times du. So it's going to be 1 times this thing here. So 2e to the half x. So 2x e to the half x minus, and if we integrate that, again, the e to the half x is going to be the same, then we divide by it differentiated, so you divide by a half plus c, or they don't mind if you leave out the plus c, so that's going to be 2x e to the half x minus 2 divided by half is going to be 4, so 4e to the half x plus c. And that's it, that's what we get when we um, integrate that thing there. If we go back to this one, 
the key thing with that is that we've got to recognize that we're um, integrating something where you've got two things being multiplied together. Okay, the next one, which is worth fi uh, three marks, is the finite region, and it really does pay to read through the questions carefully. The finite region R shows the shaded region, shows shaded in figure one, is bounded by the x-axis and the curve in the equation. And the equation is this. So find by integration the exact value for the area of R. So even though we're going to be using this, it's this that we've got to integrate now between our two points. So what we're going to be integrating is did that say four x? Yep, four x. So it's going to be four x minus x e to the half x. And we're going to integrate that. Now we're going to integrate it between these two values here, which we know is this one here was zero, and this one here was four log two. So in between zero and four log two. That's with respect to x. So if we integrate this, 4x goes to 4x squared over 2, which is going to be 2x squared, minus, and then if we integrate this, we know that we get this thing here. But remember, integrating this gives you the whole thing. So if we stick, get rid of the C, stick that in brackets, we're going to, because we're taking that away from this, this is going to be minus 2x e to the half x plus uh, oh sorry, 2 over half is the same as 4 e to the half x. That's in between 4 log 2 and 0. So just be careful with this sign here, the plus sign, because it's going to be minus and minus. And it's not that straightforward. So, let's substitute in our values. It's going to have two lots of uh, x squared, so there's two lots of 4 log 2 squared Min oh, big in brackets. minus 2 lots of 4 log 2 times by e to the half times 4 log 2 plus 4 lots of e to the half times 4 log 2 and then we're going to take away what we get when we substitute 0 in. So substitute 0 in, this goes to 0, this goes to 0 this is going to be 4 e to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So that's going to be take away 4. So now what we've got to do is we've got to sort this out here. So let's see if we can do that. So if we square that bracket, that's going to be 2 lots of... 16 log 2 squared. Let's be careful with this one. Because, I mean, we square squaring the brackets there, but remember it's log 2 squared. That's not the same as log 2 squared. Because log 2 squared, we could bring that down to make 2 log 2. But log 2 squared is something completely different. This does not equal log 2 squared. You've got to make sure that you get that right. Um, so is that one. Apologies that this question is taking long, but I wanted to really sort of go through some of these points. Um, then we've got minus 8 log 2 times by, now we've got e, I'm going to do this one slightly differently. You've got e to the half times 4 log 2 here. So half times 4 is going to be 2. 
So e to the 2 log 2, you can't cancel out the e and the um, 2, sorry, the e and the log here because it's not e log, it's e times 2 or e to the power of 2 log. So we've got to deal with this 2. So we're going to put that up there. So it's going to be e log 4 plus, and then we're going to need to do the same here, a half times 4 is going to be 2. Then we're going to need to bring that up so that we can cancel out. So 2 is going to be 4 e to the log 4. And we're going to minus 4. So then we've got 32 log 2 squared. e to the log 4 to cancel out to make 4. So 4 times minus 32 log 2. In the log cancel out there, so 4 times 4 is 16, take away 4 is 12. So I'm hoping that we get that. Um, so 32 minus 32 plus 12. So what, what question are we on? Um, question 3. 32 log 2 squared minus 32 plus 12, fantastic. Like I said, yeah, that isn't an easy question, so that's why we took our time with that one. It's not straightforward, but again, go over it, go over it slowly, pause it, and just make sure that you know how you get from one step to the next so that you don't make mistakes. Okay, again, thank you, like, subscribe, and share.